to that long as you know me You know what I'm saying? That, that Listen, man, I didn't even see that coming. I seen y'all down there. We had spoke a little bit about it when I came down and visited y'all. Yeah, yeah. Stack those straight, low key. Low key. Yeah. While I'm all in hard and mobbing in the street. How, much, how many views did that do when you posted? Man, like, they both currently got a million apiece on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Guys, you in for a special treat. My boy's in the building. DJ K is in the building, man. Stand up, man. Fast ENT is in the building, man. This guy right here, man, he been working. As long as you've known me, long as you know me. I've been balling hard and in the street. Uh, he back on Boss Talk 101. It's been a year now, and he back. You know what I'm saying? East Texas in the building. Stand up. I learned to stack, though, say low key. Low key. I can get your head to a nigga if I motion for it. You know, uh, a lot of people don't understand, man, what it means to come from uh, nothing and then make nothing out of something. That's what your boy ECO did. You make something out of nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. Flip it around. <laughs> Flip it around. I was going in too hard. <laughs> exactly. Make something out of nothing. <laughs> And at the end of the day, you got to understand, man, uh, it's just something to be a, a part of something, you know, that, uh, you know, where you linked up with some good people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mama Scott. Shout out to uh, all them people down in the country, man. Pop Johnson, Trio Talk, No Peel Talk, Ro Tarantino, everybody, man. Uh, uh, what's that boy, AJ1? What's that, what's that boy? Your brother. What's your brother, AJ1K or something? K1. We ain't going to play AJ1K. Hey, man. man. Well, what's that girl name? What's that? D what? D what? D journey. Man, all right, man. Listen, man. Let's get it right, man. We're going to start this thing off right. Shout <laughs> out, man. The whole team, man. You guys are extraordinary, man. I watch you, man. Um, I watch you. I remember when you did that Thunderbird with uh, Al D. My execution is flawless. Got a move study, long study, wrong, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, 300. Yeah. JK, what's good, nigga? Yeah. Money and the power from powder, I built the block. Yeah. And I was like, man, this, this dude right here, he knows how to pick who to put on his track. How did y'all even do that? Like, what what made y'all work together? Man, um, shout out Ralph Sheridan, you know, the prince of the city, you know what I'm saying? I think he was a big puzzle piece in putting that together. And, you know, that the rest is history. He called, he made the call. But honestly, to be honest, shout out Al D, we already kind of had our own relationship anyway. We had our own report to where, you know, he would just be telling me a lot of, you know, giving me a lot of good game or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a hear it and I'm a soak it all in, you know, because I'm trying to learn, you know, and grow to be the best I can be. And he's definitely somebody to look up to in this hip hop game, you know. I respect his craft, and so just to make that song with him was really cool. That song hard as hell, you know. A lot of people love that song. I, I got off on it. He did his shit as he always gonna do, and it's, it's like. I can listen to it and never get tired of the song. I love this whole album, like, but nah, shout out 300, shout out my nigga LD for sure, bro. Like, Man, bro, like, like, um, you guys had different scenes on it. You look like y'all up standing up high on something. I remember that. From my bucket down to my socks, yeah. He was talking down on the click. Now he a big that boy. Man, how was it making that video? Man, it was cool. It was different. I tried to step outside the box or step away from the norm of what I was doing at the time, which is working with a lot of models. So I had like took a detour off for a couple of videos of just doing shit with no models. And you know what I'm saying? Like that was just me and Aldi on some hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like an apocalyptic type space. We shot the video in and it was like the end of the world. Like it was just me and him left. You do things that you're doing, it should be noise being made. You know, like I said, working with the people that you guys have worked with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and to be honest with you that long as you know me. You know what I'm saying? That that listen man, I didn't even see that coming. I seen y'all down there. We had spoke a little bit about it when I came down and visited y'all. Yeah, yeah. Stack those stay low key. Low key. I didn't know which way y'all was gonna go with it, but I knew something was in, you know happening. Mm -hmm. Something was about to go down, and then I see 
uh, of course, he danced in this little dance. It was like a little bit. You didn't put out much. But the little nigga danced across T.I. I'm talking about. Yeah. And when he did it, you know, he was smooth as T.I.B. Yeah. And then T.I. Yeah. basically, um, yeah. uh, you posted that. And that did. How much? How many views did that do when you posted? Man, like they both currently got a million a piece on Instagram and Facebook. Wow. wow that's kind of crazy you know like it's you don't never expect to go viral like true enough obviously like yeah it's ti but it's like damn i ain't never went viral like that before so yeah like, damn you know you, it's a first time feeling kind of like the bust down a million like yeah if you, you wake up and there's two motherfuckers arguing on your post you know like damn the yeah that's part of argue. what we do yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like when was the last time Ti even did a song? That's big. That's the That's whole the game. Thing, he, did, he hadn't done a song in, done uh, with nobody like that I've in seen while. in a long time. Yeah, and for so y'all, to, you gonna have to break that down to us. Like, how did you guys even get him to do it? Like, how did y'all end up linking with him? Uh, R. I. P. To it was Clay. Uh, yeah, he was living during the time mm -hmm. when you guys was linking with him, and um, mm -hmm. just give me an understanding. Well, I think I want to believe. I think he just died recently. Yeah, he did. So the song was already complete. Correct. So he, he didn't get the, to hear it. Yeah, the song he been he heard the song the first day I met him. For sure. Wow. So that's I did the verse the first day I met him. So he like run the mic up and stuff, and I recorded it right in front of him. You know, while he was getting his dreads refreshed or dreaded. You know, he was sitting up there watching so like man it's a real experience i hate that you know rp clay right. passed away that's really sad you know so we kind of took our time getting to the video shoot whenever he got ready you know to get his mind and, and himself together for it you know what's so crazy is you in the elite group you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you got songs with it's this guy place. that you know he done done songs with everybody from young thug to I, 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 what's that we in the neighborhood about to Rihanna. To you in a class. Listen, man, you in a different class when you start thinking about the people who have done songs with this guy. Uh, who's been in music with this guy? You you start thinking from that level, and you start to understand this guy's been on tracks with a lot. Boosie and all these people that got they got projects coming out together. Him and Boosie, I was waiting on that project to hit before they had their little scuffle. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Before the back and forth went. So, but just to see that you guys was able to get down there and get you something out of it was, yes. man, that's a blessing, man, because it don't happen all the time, right? It's one of them mm -hmm. ones like. I was sitting up here talking to y'all like no cap. Y'all can go back and watch the interview from. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. The, the one we did first, and you, yeah, and it, and and it's, it's clear enough that this was the guy that you really liked a lot, and I and I think that's hard, man. So I mean, that's what it's all about. I would, you know, I ain't gonna use the word like, but it's just um, respected. I say respected, and you know, of course, probably you could use idolized to a degree. I'm not one of those cats that's gonna get up here. And, not give people their flowers. I'm not an artist or a rapper that's ashamed to be like, oh, I listened to 50 Cent when I was growing up and Lil Wayne and the rest of the GOATs, you know what I'm saying? The Jeezys and the Andre 3000s and the, you know, you can go on up to Kanye's or the who, who, Drake, Now, Future, you know, like, it's a lot of greats to listen. Like, it's hard. How do you make bad music when, you know what I'm saying? You got all this influence of just classic material and you got to be yourself. I think that's what make everybody different. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.